It's Monday. Welcome to vlog number 15. I am your host, Mr. AB. So starting the week off a little bit better. I'm trying to be a little more organized this week. So had to come in and kind of get a few things sorted. But I think I'm good. I got some new systems in place. So I'll have to let you know at the end of the week if it worked. start the day it is Tuesday and they're talking about hurricanes which hopefully that's not going to happen because I like to have a full week of school putting up my force in motion stuff on my bulletin board word wall well it is Wednesday oh day so far, no hurricane. Of course, it's still in the ocean. Hopefully, we won't have any bad weather. I'm hoping that we can get a full week of school in. I know the kids are probably hoping to get a day off, but I would actually like to get a full week in. And next week, we can start fresh again, kind of build momentum. That's teacher life, hashtag teacher life. We got so much stuff that we have to do and so little time to do it. So, uh, as much as I like having a little extra day off as well, uh, I really need to focus on getting stuff done this week. All right, so just found out that, so we just found out that we have two hour early release on Thursday, which is tomorrow, and we are out on Friday because of the hurricane. Hurricane Flow, or Florence as they call it. Bummed, but I know that safety is the most important thing uh, honestly I'm not really sure that that's it's going to be that big of a deal but you know it's better to be safe than sorry as it's hoping that all of my students will show up tomorrow so we can at least get a good half day in and um, get a little bit more content and maybe do some fun things hopefully some of the things I don't think is that fun but we'll make it fun just wait that's right guys I'm gonna make it fun well, as fun as possible. As fun as humanly possible, that's what I always say. That's my motto. Well, the hurricane is definitely coming. Um, they've closed school for Friday, and we are leaving early today on Thursday. So, so much for getting a full weekend this week. So my students have these new dry erase stickers on their desk, and they've been leaving me little notes. I think that's so cool. Hashtag, it's all about purr. Almost Friday, Friday. I think teaching is so much fun and I'm so glad that I am at this school and with these students and it's just been a great year so far. So, they decided to cancel school for Friday. And so I am in here uh, getting some things done today. I'm in here getting some things done today. So getting organized, getting things ready for next week, uh, sending out messages on Dojo, trying to get students uh, kind of engaged a little bit today um, and this weekend. And I'm making some anchor charts so I can have those ready and I can just post without having to uh, do them during the week when I really don't have time. So I'm taking advantage of this day just to come come in here and get some stuff done, relax a little bit, and hopefully this hurricane's not gonna be so bad, but we'll have to see. I 
really do feel like this has been a great week. It's been very productive and very um, engaging, very informative and instructional, all those teacher words, all those educational words. But I've really learned a lot um, this year, starting out probably more than I've learned in the half year that I've taught so far. So my advice to up and coming teachers is um, always be yourself. So um, take what your team works through and works on uh, and make it your own. So don't always, you don't always have to be cookie cutter. Um, do, do what works best for you. If you know your kids are going to struggle with a passage, break it up into different chunks or make, make closed notes or find a different article, whatever it takes, whatever it is. If your kids are not engaged, think of a way that you can engage them. Like what's a video clip you can throw up or what's some kind of PowerPoint or what's some kind of activity that you can start a lesson with to get them uh, inspired to learn. Because if they're not into it, then they're not going to learn. So it is finally Sunday and putting the final touches on this week's lessons. Uh, trying to finish up this vlog. Trying to get my mind and heart and body and soul prepared for this week. So um, we, I think we've rode out the hurricane. I think it's almost totally past. I think we got like one or two more days. So hopefully we can get back to normal starting this week. I feel like our team has really uh, worked hard this week to come together to collaborate. We created a science lesson together uh, that I think is really cool. And um, you know we're, we're working hard together for the common good and to get um, to get better at what we're doing, to get better at teaching, and to get better at instructing students. So again, I am looking forward to this week. Looking forward to the activities, the lessons that we have planned. Uh, we do have a walkthrough again, as I've said earlier. Uh, not really nervous about it because I'm going to just do my best and you know do a great job as much as I can. All they can do is offer feedback, right? And that's how you grow. That's how you learn. That's how you become better at your craft. Um, and so I think this week is going to definitely boost my confidence and help me to be even better as an instructor and as a facilitator. Hopefully I have some more footage and some more um, information, insight into my world next week for you to watch, um, for the world to watch. And I hope everyone has a great week and make sure you like and subscribe and thank you again for um, enduring another couple minutes into my world. Thank you.